Look at some dramatic video of a hit and run caught on camera. A van flies through the air and comes crashing down into the garage of a Richmond home. As you see there, taking out a few cars inside. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 6 tonight. Our Laura French investigates why police still haven't arrested the man they say was behind the wheel. That driver is now considered a felon on the run. The crash you just saw happened two months ago, yet his victim says he's no closer to being apprehended than he was the day he drove into trouble. Twisted metal, shattered glass, torn up tire tread, all shed light on a dramatic scene that was caught on video at this Richmond home in the early hours of May 18th. He came right on up this berm and just launched himself. Al Palmer wasn't at his Swanson Road home when this destruction took place, but his surveillance cameras were rolling. What we see is uh, a car that just literally launches across the, the yard and impacts the uh, iron and masonry works here, impacts this car, drives it into a second car. A van traveling at a high rate of speed, airborne. You see the driver get out of this Honda Odyssey, look around and flee. That driver, who is now considered a felon under Virginia law, leaving behind thousands of dollars of damage. Uh, he is told to me there's no documentation on him. He doesn't have a Virginia driver's license, and he's probably here illegal. We went to the Richmond home where the suspected driver's sister, who owns the van involved in the crash, lives. No answer. He had four flat tires. Palmer wants the Richmond police, who took this accident report, to do the same. They know where he is. They've talked with him. He has even called the insurance company and admitted that he was driving the van. Palmer said the first call he got from the investigator on his case was Monday after we started making calls. We requested an interview with the RPD. They said they can't give specifics on this case because the officer handling it is off. But they say this is an ongoing investigation. I haven't had any response uh, on anything that has culminated any satisfaction for me. The fact is I'd like to see him apprehended. It's a matter of principle. Accountability, Palmer says, for an accident that has consumed him. One, he will continue to rewind until investigators, he says, move forward. Palmer says he's out about $13,000 at this time, but he won't settle with the insurance companies just yet until justice is served. He is willing to take this case to court. We want to make clear that we have not confirmed that the alleged driver has admitted guilt or is here illegally. The Richmond Police Department assures us they will follow up with CBS 6 on all of our many questions in the coming days. In the newsroom, Laura French, CBS 6 News. And don't forget it, CBS.